dog travels 3,000 miles to reunite with the soldier who saved her. It goes without saying that military life isn't easy, especially while the soldiers are on deployment. When they're overseas, not only do they face dangers around every corner, but they're homesick and sad as well, which is why it's so important for soldiers to have an outlet to turn to during all the chaos. This soldier found his outlet while overseas, but when it was time for a change, he had to do some quick thinking before it was too late. Rescue Attempt Sean Laidlaw believed he was capable of handling anything that Syria had to throw at him, especially considering that he'd already served two tours in Afghanistan. When Sean and his fellow soldiers in the Royal Engineers were deployed by the British Army in 2018, he leaped into action during a surprising rescue attempt that he never imagined happening. Syrian Civil War Sean is an expert at defusing and removing bombs. Throughout the last several years, the Syrian Civil War has ravaged through the country, especially in the city of Raqqa. While there were a large number of surrounding buildings crumbling to the ground around Sean, there were several buildings that had undetonated bombs inside them. Tough Times it didn't matter if he was actively patrolling or not, life in the army wasn't a walk in the park for Sean. Well, for anyone. There was rarely anything exciting going on in camp, and the troops' morale was definitely suffering because of it. So in February, Sean almost felt grateful for being called out to investigate a bombed out school. Strange Sounds Sean couldn't find anything out of the ordinary while he was patrolling the area. But when he really tuned into his surroundings, he thought he could hear the sound of a faint whimper somewhere underneath all the rubble. Sean began to follow the noise and soon started digging. Too skittish. The sound that he was hearing was coming from a puppy. The puppy, which looked like some kind of Asian shepherd mix, immediately backed away from Sean when he attempted to reach out. Without thinking twice, Sean realized that he had to do something to help the scared canine. But then he saw something that made him jerk back. A sad sight. All of a sudden, Sean realized that there were a few other puppies surrounding the one who had just found. Sadly, none of them had survived when the building collapsed. It was clear that the poor puppy had lost her entire family. That's when Sean realized that he couldn't just leave her there all alone to starve in the rubble. Small Steps the pup was still very frightened, so he didn't really want to go near any strangers. Sean decided it was best to do the simplest thing that he could. He took out a little bit of water and some food, and that was clearly enough to call the scared pup out of her hiding place. New Friends It took four days before the puppy would let Sean touch her. That was when Sean realized he was able to pick her up. Sean decided that he should bring her back to the base with him. He was looking forward to introducing his new friend to all his comrades, but she really needed her own name first. A new name. Sean chose the name Barry for the sweet little girl, and soon enough, she became a permanent member of the Royal Engineers. In fact, she barely ever left Sean's side. She stayed with me all day, every day. She did jobs with me. I'd wake up. She'd come eat with me. She'd then sit in the passenger seat of my car when we drove to Raqqa. Sean said in an interview with Mail Online. Comforting Friend Sean explained that having the friendly puppy around always made him happy. Working in a war zone, coming back to camp, you sit in your room on your own. To have a companion you can play with and train, it kept my mind away from all the things I was seeing and doing out there, he said. You can only imagine how bad Syria is. An Outlet Sadly, many of Sean's fellow soldiers suffered from PTSD, but Sean was able to find a peaceful outlet in Barry. He said, Barry gave me a bit of normality. She definitely kept me sane. She boosted the morale of other soldiers by sitting in their laps when they had bad days. Best Buds I feel like it may come across that I saved Barry's life, but I feel like she saved mine, said Sean. He was obviously more than grateful to have found Barry. The two had become so close that Sean couldn't imagine spending even one day without Barry in his life. It was official. Barry had become such a major member of the Royal Engineers that Sean knew that he had to make it official. So he sewed together a bomb squad vest so Barry could have one of her very own. But they would soon find out that Barry's threat was closer than they thought. 
going home. Sean received the word that his time in Syria was almost over in the fall of 2018. He was finally going home. But what was going to happen to Barry once he wasn't there to take care of her? He had no clue if he'd ever see Barry again, and he definitely didn't know if she would even have a home at the base once he left. War Pause All of Sean's comrades celebrated on the trip back to the United Kingdom, but all Sean could do was think about Barry. That was when an amazing idea popped into his mind. Sean remembered hearing about War Paws, a charity that helps unite veterans with the dogs that they served in the military with. Sean immediately set up a GoFundMe account to get funds to help get Barry back home with him. Patiently Waiting The volunteers that work with War Paws seemed like they were pretty confident that they'd be able to reunite Sean with Barry. War Paws got Barry safely out of Syria to Iraq. After that, the dog had to be quarantined for three months. Finally, Sean was instructed to go to the Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris to pick up Barry. Familiar Face As the staff at the airport slowly rolled a dog crate out of the plane, Sean noticed her furry face peering through the door. Barry was staring back at him. She'd made it to Paris. Trying not to cry, Sean reached his hand out to pet Barry through the cage. Full Grown Dog this was not a puppy anymore. She was a big dog now. Sean worried that she would not recognize him, but she certainly did. It was pure joy when she realized who I was. She's exactly as she was back in Syria. It was just great to have my dog again, he said. A new life. Sean returned home to Hornchurch with Barry, happily sitting right by his side. Barry had no problem settling in with Sean. She sure had changed a lot since being that scared little puppy that was afraid of Sean. Best Friends It took a 3,000-mile journey, a 12-hour car ride, and traveling through five countries to finally get them together. Thanks to the help of people at Warpaws and all friends and strangers who donated to Sean's GoFundMe account, this man and his dog will have a wonderful life together. Cheers to a long and happy friendship, Barry and Sean. Thank <laughs> you.